congratulations to the USA goalball men's team for taking home the Nations Cup from Berlin with Greenville's own Tyler Marin. Goalball, if you don't know, is a sport specifically designed for athletes with a visual impairment. Teams of three compete with a ball that has bells in it, and they try to throw it into a goal. The Americans outscore their opponents 78 to 37 and reached double digits in five of their seven games. And the Momentum Center in Grand Haven is launching a summer teen program that focuses on relationships, mental health, and well-being. It's open to members ages 13 to 18, and membership is just $1 per year. Activities include tie-dye, arts and crafts, games and community outings. It will run on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2 to 4 in the afternoon from June 20th to August 24th. There are also volunteer opportunities available. You can learn more at MomentumCenterGH.org. And check this out. This is being called a once in a lifetime shot. Amadeus Tafe, he's a student at Muskegon Community College, and he achieved what's called a bullseye Robin Hood during archery class. You see that, that extra long arrow? It's not just one. Yeah, most archers never can do this. It happens when that incredibly precise shot splits the first arrow in half. And Tafe did it in front of his teacher and his class. He says he's grateful to have had this rare opportunity. Look at that. And the results are in for the 2023 Vegan Chef Challenge in Kalamazoo. The month-long contest was decided by diners who visited the participating restaurants. More than 400 people tried the dishes from vegans to meat eaters. And the first place winner is Texas Corners Brewing Company for their beer battered asparagus, black bean mushroom burger, and peanut, or peanut butter chocolate brownie. Second place, Crow's Nest for their Vine Street vegan cheesecake or cheese steak, and there was Center Street Tap House with the best dessert. Hey, now there are already plans for this event to return next year. You want to see a full list of the winners and to learn more, go to veganchefchallenge.org/kalamazoo. Now, as the summer season approaches, couples are going to want to head out on romantic vacations. HoneymoonAlways.com commissioned a poll to figure out which alternative romantic destinations people are most eager to visit this year. And one of Michigan's most popular vacation spots made the list. Mackinac Island landed number eight on that spot. Uh, it's no surprise. You got look at the shoreline views, lush gardens. You get to escape from the hustle and bustle of modern life to reconnect with each other. Now, the top three romantic destinations were St. Augustine, Florida, as well as two other locations in Hawaii.